by Philip Whiteside and Duarte Garrido, news reporters the collapse of a dance floor at a nightclub in Tenerife has left 22 people injured, including two seriously, it has been reported. Fire and rescue services were called to the butterfly in Playa de las Americas, on the Spanish island's south coast, at 2.30 a.m. on Sunday. A spokesman said firefighters rescued several people who had become trapped at the scene. A four-meter-long section of the ground floor of the venue collapsed and debris had fallen though into the basement, according to reports. Pictures from the scene showed steel wires hanging from the ceiling, with rubble on the floor and supports propping up what was left. Image debris litters the floor of the bar's basement after the collapse. Several people on Twitter who claimed to know the club said it was a disco bar popular with a gay crowd. One witness told the Bollerino website I was at the club called Paparayo which is next door to a gay club called Butterfly, and suddenly a friend of mine comes in screaming please help me, help me and it turns out the club floor had collapsed, broken in half, and people fell with it. We saw a whole bunch of people hurt and police everywhere and they closed the main street. It was a big disaster, there really were a lot of people hurt and there is no explanation as to why it happened. LD a newspaper said those who were injured had fallen one story in height and were from a number of different countries. Image the basement after the nightclub floor collapsed several of those in the nightclub at the time suffered fractures to the legs and ankles, it said. Others reported back pain, blunt trauma and bruising of varying degrees, with most being taken to hospital and other care centers. A firefighter spokesman said the service was required by a caller who, through the Emergency Fire Brigade Coordination Center, reported that part of the floor of a nightclub had collapsed. Six firefighting teams were deployed and, once in place, they confirmed that the floor of about four meters in length had collapsed. Firefighters were in charge of carrying out inspection and debris removal tasks to rule out whether people were trapped inside.